so currently it is 4.45 a.m. And um, yeah, I got here a little bit early, maybe a little earlier than I planned on, but it's pitch black out here. I can barely see anything with the ISO cranked up to a crazy, ridiculous amount. Gonna be almost unusable, I think. But um, yeah, we're out here at the Crowley Horse Stable. It's been abandoned for a couple of years. I've been photographing here for uh, a little while now. And uh, I wanna mess around with some light. So that's what we're gonna do. Turn the flashlight off for this part. Now I can finally see. So the first shot I took today was of the Crowley stable barn and that was the first thing that I kind of always shoot when I get here because it's the most prominent feature, but um, I wanted to take it in a more interesting scenario, obviously way before dawn, still dark out essentially, and uh, you had some really interesting ambient light in the background kind of playing through some of the, uh, the open walls of the barn. And with the uh, artificial light that I was using, the flashlight kind of going through, um, hopefully, what happens is that the highlights, those really harsh highlights of the ambient super far off light, which are not gonna be harsh, hopefully it matches with the, uh, the flashlight that I use. Underexposed it a little bit, just so I don't overexpose the highlights. Hopefully it came out well, because that was my first image. shots in. I made a mistake on one of the shots um, where I set my shutter speed to one second instead of timed. Uh, whatever. No big deal. Um, but I've been kind of just working with the flashlight here which has posed its own challenges where uh, obviously the GSW you can't just hit the cable release and close the shutter. You have to like put your hand over the lens and then switch the shutter speed to one second which closes the shutter it's so annoying but it's just like a whole list of things to do when you're out you know you're flashlighting things and then uh you've got that obviously that's where strobes would come in handy or maybe like a stand i could put this on but uh yeah i i like to make things hard for myself but uh beautiful morning now the uh the sun is almost up technically because it's going to be a cloudy rainy day um but it kind of works for what we're trying to do, just paint with some light, trying some interesting lighting techniques. Let's see what happens. Well, I'm having trouble sleeping and I'm stuck on the side. Cause I haven't figured out this faith of mine. Problem isn't sitting on a wood in the It's the digging through the dark parts we've been through. So be still, you don't always have to have an answer. Be still, you'll be fine with a little bit of doubt. So be still, you don't always have to have an answer. Listening hard for the voice in the room Like your baby wishing with the bear in the room So I'm 
staring down into the eyes of fear. Cause I've learned to heal with more than near. So be still, you don't always have to have an answer. Be still, you'll be fine with a little bit of doubt. So be still, you don't always have to have an answer. One thing that I really like to do when I'm uh, shooting with this camera in particular because it's a rangefinder, uh, I have a hard time finding focus in dimly lit scenarios like what we have today. So the markings on the lens barrel really help, go a long way. They help a lot uh, in finding focus, just zone focusing everything. Uh, it's sort of how I shoot with this camera in these types of conditions. But we got everything set up here, about three and a half feet. Let's take our shot. So be still, you don't always have to have an answer. Be still, you'll be fine with a little bit of doubt. So be still, you don't always have to have an answer. Well, I'm figuring out you don't always have to figure it out. You know, there are some really super talented photographers who utilize strobes and artificial lighting to light or enhance scenes. And this kind of piggybacks off of something I've been doing recently on a taking inspiration video that I'm working on on Gregory Crudson, where he is staging everything and using artificial lighting and um, how it complements ambient natural lighting. I just find it fascinating. And the more that I, I think about his work and the more that I've been diving deeper into it, the more that I'm finding ways to possibly introduce it into my own line of work. Today is merely an experimentation of the ideas that I've had. Um, not anything set in stone or nothing that will make its way into a project or anything like that, but just to, uh, just a little fun to think of some things. And I know this probably should go with my Gregory Crudson taking inspiration video, but it's not. It's just not gonna make it into that because, well, I have no direction. Today, I don't have a direction. Just enjoying it, playing with some light. Seeing what we get. I'm not certain about this composition, if I'm honest, but there's something about it that's just calling to me. And there is times in photography where your intuition takes over and you just have to sort of listen. And uh, that's gonna be one of those scenarios right now. If I'm just gonna listen to what my heart tells me to do, I'm gonna take this shot. Just smash it though. Now that it's actually, uh, sunrise I mean it's actually kind of getting kind of nice out so that's a nice bonus and the lighting's better can't beat that can ya now that is how it's done I did nothing other than just press a button uh, so not like I didn't do anything crazy there Again, like I feel like I'm just reiterating the fact or reiterating the same sentence. Let's see what happens or I'll see what happens. And hopefully it goes well, because honestly I have no idea. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys the results anyways, whether they're good, whether they're bad, or um, anywhere in between. There's a great Mitch Hedberg joke that goes along with that where he says, people either love it or they hate it or they think it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that is very germane to what I'm doing today. Anyways, I'm done. I'm done. I'll see you guys. Bye.